Hi everybody, and welcome to another video for my blog of Warcraft. You may notice that I'm doing something a little different today, um, with you being able to hear it in game sounds such as combat. So what I'm doing to- so, what I'm doing today, well, let's put it this way. What do saving goblins and fighting yetis and excessive amounts of flying and riding giants all have in common? The answer is, it's all part of one giant quest chain that you'll see if you ever go through Storm Peaks. If you see this goblin giving this quest, accept it, because it is the beginning of a very long quest. A quest that involves going into a mine and talking to this person, um, you know, and that's after you've done the goblin saving I showed earlier. Um, turns out there's some other goblin who you didn't save and you have to go through this mine and stuff, and eventually you get this kind of disguise that makes you into a blue vicral woman person thing. So I'm currently looking for somebody who dropped something, I'm not really sure where they are. I think there's somebody somewhere around here. Maybe they're... Oh, there they are. You get this disguise, which is actually permanent, as after you've done the quest you always look like this when in certain areas. So down to the left-ish you'll see a little goblin there, and I'm saving him by fighting his challenger. And that finishes the original bit of the quest chain, but eventually... Oh, here I am in flight form, but because I'm in this area I always look blue, so I'm just swimming through the air. Normally I'd look like a bird right now. Um, but the original part is saving these goblins, but then that quest giver I showed earlier, you know, the bike roll person, gives you this quest to kind of... you embark to fix the ties between these two faction groups. The sons of Hodir, these ice giants guy, and then the forces of Thorum, including these blue people. Admittedly, you may not be a huge fan of this quest if you don't like vehicle riding because, you know, you ride bears and you ride proto drakes and you each have abilities and stuff. I like it a lot. I like the various vehicle quests around Northrend if you haven't noticed that before. But, so... Uh, and, ooh, here's a fun part. This, in my opinion, is a perfect melding of the vehicle and original combat systems where you like ride around on these proto drakes and can actually hop from proto drake to proto drake but you use the usual means of fighting their riders and you can toss them off and stuff it's so much fun i almost want to do it again and again and i can since this is my second character i've gotten through here by the way if you know where the sons of hodir area is and you've become friendly or at least neutral with them you well, one, for one thing, you want to pick up this flight path, and for another, it's nice, um, there's usually a couple Saranite veins, or a couple, like, Ice Thorn or something, if you're here. You know, there's usually a couple gathering nodes, which is nice. So, part of the quest chain is these giant guys, you know, you're trying to get more positive relations with them, including the giant, uh, one quest involving that giant riding I showed earlier. You actually throw snowballs at fire elementals. Kind of, um, interesting. I'm blending in with my surroundings. Because, get it, because I'm a bird and that's a nest, see? Okay, well, um, here I have this quest to plant some eggs here to get a proto-drake to come and then hopefully the proto-drake will not kill me. Um, if they do decide to kill me, I don't have much hope, because I think this Proto-Drake... Well, I'd tell you the eventual fate of the Proto-Drake, but that would be spoilers as to what eventually happens in the quest chain. Ugly Proto-Drake with, like, a billion health. Please don't kill me. Please don't. Okay, okay. I hope I don't accidentally get smushed by that foot or those wings. But I suppose I can fly through those wings, so I'm not too threatened. In a moment, you're going to see a guy trying to ride the proto-rake. You can see his foot, and there he is, he's Thorm. 
He is a major character in this quest chain. He is one of the keepers of Ulduar. Um, and, you know, he's trying to safeguard Ulduar and stuff, and he's all powerful. And he's the leader of those blue people, kind of. And he's trying to fix his relations with the giant after one problem. See, if you ever come here, you'll see a bunch of frozen statues. That's from a big fight between Thorm's forces and that giant guy's forces. And here they are, and they're like apologizing to each other and stuff, and it's all good. Here is another quest which I really like. You can summon these earthen guys, and if you look near the bottom of the screen, they have four different spells they can cast but on enemies that there's like no way you'd be able to destroy them otherwise. They can like root them in place and interrupt spell casting and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Of course, if you're not careful, their summoning time can run out and you can still die. A little bit of lore that you find out during this quest chain is, as I mentioned, there are those two groups who are kind of enemies with each other. The uh, Giants and Thorms guys. And eventually you learn that this is due to um, this guy called Loken who betrayed and murdered... Or, yeah, never mind. Um, he killed Thorm's wife, Sif, and blamed it on the Frost Giants. Yeah, that's his brilliant plan. Um, eh, but hey, it pretty much worked. Until, of course, you come along and you're all awesome and, oh crap, I'm almost dying. But no, I don't die. Wahaha. I shall never sit here. Yeah, I'm getting off topic. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it kills the wife and it leads to a war with the ice giants and such. But you're fixing it all. And so, therefore, Lucan's plans are smashed to the ground. Well, okay, maybe they aren't. However, well, okay, you see what happens is, spoiler, 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 and then spoiler, 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 which leads to spoiler, 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 spoiler. I must admit, I do not remember the exact wording of what is said here. However, it's something like Thorm goes, hey, I'm angry, I go kill you. And then Logan is like, okay, I fight back, and then he does all this lightning, and then they fight and all, and, you know, fight, 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 kill, kill, bad, bad, fight, fight. And, you know, Logan's like, oh, dang, I'm actually being beaten. I'm a bad guy, I'm supposed to be winning at this point in the story. And, boah, ha, 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 I am for... You know, I am a total cheater, as you shall see. See, he's a total cheater. Cheat, 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 fair fight, not at all. So Logan says, ha ha, I cheat, you lose, you noob. And it turns out the entire plan was a plot by Logan to lure Thorm away from his place that he's moping the whole time about his wife's death until you come along and you get him away and then Logan's actually able to defeat him. Wow, you're so smart. Gee, great, great job, hero. Wait, why am I doing this question again? Because I, I know what happens. Wait, why to help Logan again? Uh, okay, whoops, um, sorry Thorum. And that's how the quest chain ends. But the story continues in Old War.